are we alone? Craft is 50% Nike, 50% Tom Sachs. Tom Sachs is an American artist creating works that show the work. Authentic, man-made, transparent. The head of Nike and Tom were having a back and forth for years before releasing their first project together in 2012, a small capsule collection which included the Mars Yard. This Mars Yard's upper is made of strong Vectran fabric from the Mars Rover airbags. But this fabric was made for airbags, not footwear. The upper would wear away and rip. This was a failure. Tom saw this as a chance to improve his design. He wore them every day for five years, went through eight pairs and each time improving them. He launched the Mars Yard 2.0 in 2017. This upper uses a breathable polyester warp knit tricot mesh, losing some water resistance. Another chance to improve. 2018, the Mars Yard overshoe was released. Nylon reinforced Dyneema encased the shoe, driving away sneakerheads and resellers. At this point, the aftermarket price of the two Mars Yards that came before the overshoe were over six thousand dollars the overshoes aftermarket price stayed at retail this was my chance authenticity tom talks about a mondrian painting he obsessed over uh broadway boogie woogie he didn't want to go to wall street get a desk job to get enough money to buy one, but he was willing to make one. A model, uh, not of oil paint, but of tape, and with that it becomes authentic. Uh, authentic to him because it represents his circumstances. He's not someone that would get those kinds of jobs just to afford a painting. And like him, I had an obsession with the shoe and what it stands for. This shoe was designed for the greatest minds of our time. I took the teachings of the Tom Sachs studio, watched every video. You see a lot of similarities between the three models. Not sure the significance of Le Bullet, if they are that, versus spaceships versus... Ta-da! He doesn't know he doesn't know what the 10 bullets are. He has all three Tom Sachs shoes, but he doesn't know what the 10 bullets are. Anyways, on with the video. The overshoe is our jumping off point. Step one, remove bag and sole. You'll need an X-Acto blade and scissors. Step two, complete the upper. Veggie tanned leather, wax thread, heavy duty needle, and pliers. We need to replace what was lost. Step three, retrieve donor sole. You'll need boiling water, gloves, and a shoe with the right sole. Through my research, I came across this video. This video says you need a sole that's a half size bigger. This video is wrong, true to size. Step four, glue up. You'll need barge cement, optional heat gun. Step five, finishing touches. This includes making the laces, sewing the back pull tab, and shortening the tongue. This is the final product.
they don't come like this in stores, you know.